Hi kids! I have a really cool project for you today. I am so excited about the balance bird. And this is the sheet that I made for you. And from this, we are going to make this. Okay, this is a balance bird. It integrates science, um, a type of science called physics. And I'm going to add the art today. But if I take my finger and put it on the beak and then let go, it looks like magic. But it's actually science because the beak, because of the way I distributed the weight, is the center of gravity or the center of mass. It is a, it's actually the center of the whole bird to give it a perfect, um, to give it perfect balance. And that's a hard concept, but the easy, and it'll work for you whether you understand it or not. But the cool thing is we are going to be adding art to it today. So let's get started. Okay, this is what you're going to need to, today. You're going to need the sheet um, from Amy Ward Creates. You are going to need a Sharpie marker. Sharpies work better than regular markers because they won't bleed um, if they get wet or if you put marker over them. And then those are the two things you absolutely should have. Then you're going to need something for coloring. So I would suggest either uh, colored pencils or um, skinny, skinny markers. If you don't have those and you just have the thicker markers, those work great as well. So if you need to pause the video, pause here and go ahead and get your materials. Okay, so we're going to start with something plain like this. Before we actually make the balance bird, we are going to add art to it so it looks like this. And we're going to do that in the form of shapes and patterns. So I'm going to put these up here for you. Okay, uh, these are all kinds of patterns and shapes that you can use to make designs on your bird. If you take a look at my bird, I used um, a lot from this one. Here, let me see if I can get, there we go. They're all in there and the same with this one. They're all in there. So if you want to come back and pause this later on this particular screen, you can pause it and come back to this. Um, but I used uh, all of these patterns to do this. If you look at this um, balance bird, it appears that if you squint, if you squint at the screen, this and this look a little bit darker than the rest of them. The reason that happens is because this and this have more lines on them. The more lines of black you put on them, the darker it's going to appear. It's like an illusion. So if I would add more lines to this, maybe some more zigzag lines, this would look darker as well. So keep that in mind as you go so it doesn't all look um, the same, um, all light or all dark that you have some contrast in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this. So I'm going to start with the blank one again. And this is how you do it. Um, if you have a thick and a thin Sharpie, that's probably the best. But if you just have one or the other, that works well too. So the first thing I did is I made I just made sections. I sectioned this off before I made my patterns. So I started right here. You can do this however you want, but if you want to watch me first and then pause and do yours, I took, I just sectioned the, oh, my marker's not working. There it is. I sectioned this into sections. So now I've sectioned it into one, two, three sections, and I'm going to continue to do sections. Let me do the tail first. This is what I did. You can do something completely different and you know what? I would encourage you to do something different so it doesn't look like exactly like mine. And if you would like to do this with um, 
uh, pencil first and then go over with marker you can. Sometimes I find that pencil just slows me down a little bit, but I can understand if you don't want to make a mistake. The other cool thing about this project is if you do make a mistake, just work it into your design. Work the mistake into your design, kind of hide it. Okay, so now I've got all my sections done. And I am going to now use uh, my sheet to find designs to put in here. So if I look at this sheet, which one did I use? I think it was this one that I used and I kind of, I changed it a little bit. It's just a whole bunch of circles all mixed together. And if you look at mine, mine's just a little bit clearer. This is what I did. It looks difficult, but it's not. Here's how I did it. I started out with big circles and then I started filling in smaller circles and attaching circles together, kind of gluing them together with circles. And I kept doing that and doing that. And it's really relaxing when you're doing it. Your circles don't have to be perfect. Like if you're like, oh, my circles won't fit there, just make the circles bigger or smaller so they will fit. And then I filled up my space like that. Um, here, all I did was a zigzag shape, a zigzag line. I'm not going to finish this, but that's how I did it. Oh, and then the second part is then I went back after all the circles were filled in, and I filled in anything that wasn't a circle, that was kind of like in between. And that's how I got that dark pattern behind it. So zigzag here. Okay, that one I did a thick and a thin line. So I started with a thick line. And this is a zigzag line. And notice when I stop, I stop inside my section. I don't go outside my section. And then I just added smaller lines. that followed along the same, did the same zigzag. And then I just filled that in with the smaller lines. Okay. Um, this one right here, I did wavy one way, and then I followed that pattern and did the same wave. And again, guys, I'm just showing you what I did. And that's on here, too. I believe that is right here. Yep. Oh, no, it's right here. It's this one right here, this, this design. You almost have to study the patterns to see how to do them and what's the easiest way to do them. So you have your, your wave going the same way. Then we're going to wave going the other way. And we're going to follow pattern there going the same way. That's how I did that pattern. Um, this pattern here, I just started with the shape. I started here with the teardrop shape and then I just outlined it. Um, I got the idea from this one where it started with the circle and just outlined and I thought there was another, oh here, here where they outlined everything. So you know what, you can just do a, a simple or a 
more complicated like shape of anything you want and then start going around it or you can just like this or you can do it with the thin line or you can do it with the thick line or you can do it the way I did it on this one whereas I did two teardrop shapes and kept going around and around lots of different ways you can do this this one right here simply a zigzag shape with a circle drawn at every corner this is a swirl Okay, and then when I ran off, the, you could go off the paper on this side because you're going to be cutting that off. This is simply a dot and line. Uh, it's just lines, two dots, line, two dots, line, two dots. And I also, I believe, found that on here. I think it's this one right here. Yep, line and two dots, line and two dots. Lots of different ideas here. Uh, and this one again was thick and thin wavy lines. This one is a uh, like a fish scale pattern or a feather pattern zigzag. So guys, using lines and shapes, you're going to fill in your whole bird. Right now, what I would like you to do, I'm going to put these two uh, these two sheets up again so that you can see them. And uh, and I want you to have your bird in front of you. And right now I want you to push pause, use your markers, and fill that up. Okay, so did you get it done? <laughs> it takes a little bit of time, but it is a lot of fun. The next thing we're going to do, if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can color it. And I love coloring with marker, um, but remember, uh, the uh, colored pencils work just as well. So markers or colored pencils, and you basically, guys, you just color in like a coloring page, because that's basically what you've made here. If you like doing those coloring books for adults or coloring books for kids that have all those different patterns, by doing this and just taking your time and doing something different on each section, that's essentially what you're doing, is you are making your own coloring book or page, I should say. It's not a whole coloring book, obviously. So I'm going to just start coloring in some of these, and we'll see what happens. And... Um, the cool thing about these markers is you can do a thick or a thin line. These are called the super tips. Um, for this part, Sharpie markers also work. So uh, you could use Sharpies as well. I forgot to mention that earlier, but Sharpies will work for this um, if you want to color in with Sharpies. So I'm going to pause right here and I am going to color my bird. I just remembered something. Uh, you can also use this edge to um, uh, test your markers and your colors because all that's going to get cut off. I forgot to do that. So now you can pause. Bye. You will need to cut out your balance bird just like this, just like I have. Make sure not to cut these tabs off. They should still be attached. Uh, but you're going to need uh, some paper clips if you have them. If you don't have those, something with weight, like maybe some pennies, um, uh, glue stick, and your scissors. So you might want to pause right now and go get that information, or go get that, I'm sorry, those materials, and cut out your bird head and your bird body. Okay, this next part, we are going to uh, be putting our bird together. So you will need your glue stick, and um, we're gonna start by folding by at all of the dashed lines. So E and F need to be folded, and then 
A and B and C. We're kind of going to roll this up like a jelly roll. The thickness of it doesn't allow you to go quite under. Okay, there we go. That's what we're doing. So, E and F. Use your glue stick. Do E. Then do F, then do A, and then do B, B and C. And I'm going to push this back a little bit, and then we're going to glue C right underneath. Okay, and you might want to use a paper clip or just hold it till it dries. And then you're going to do the same to the other side. Okay, last thing then, take the bird head, just at the head, not anywhere else, and glue that together so that the bird beak stays together. And paper clip that. But this part does not get glued. Now, there were two little slits you were supposed to cut out here and here so that you can slide it onto the bird. So let that dry and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, that should be dry. These should be dry, so take those off. And then you're going to slide the bird head onto the bird. There we go. You might need to spread it out a little bit then. So spread it. There we go. So it looks like this. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if it works. Put my finger right at the beak and let it go. Oh, if it does not work, very well and it seems to sink more than you want it to so this one sinks more than I want it to here let me show you a different view okay so when I do my balance bird it kind of sinks down Oop. I was upside down <laughs> see how it kind of sinks down um, when I put it on my finger we want it to be up like this so in order to do that we need to put more weight on our wings and that's what the paper clips are for. I'm going to put two paper clips on each wing and see if that helps with the weight and then you can just tape them to the bottom of the wing. Oh yeah look at that just having that little bit of weight. Here let me bring this camera down a little bit so you can kind of see what it does. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Super cool. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to um, balance it on a pencil eraser and show you what you can do for a display. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause it and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So now I've got a uh, salt or a pepper shaker, salt or pepper shaker, a pencil which I'm going to stick in to one of the holes and then I'm going to take my bird and I am going to balance it on the pencil. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Let me turn it a little. Awesome. Yeah, and it looks like it's it's tilting a little, which might mean that my paper clips are off in kind of an odd spot. Let me see move my paper clips so that they're both in the same spot and see if that helps. A little bit, it's still a little tilty. So, make sure I've got it 
thing. Oh, back down a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. There we go. And there is the balance bird. I hope you guys have fun with this. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a picture of it. Um, if you can't get a picture of it, definitely send me a video. Hope you have fun with it. See ya. Bye.